Welcome YouTubers to my uh, how-to video on my Samsung Galaxy S4 Verizon. Today I'm going to show you how to install your mobile hotspot uh, so you can you know attach your uh, tablets or PCs or anything like that to it uh, or laptops things like that um, uh, or any other <laughs> uh, mobile device like some of my buddies usually have uh, um, plans that expire after like two gigs of data and stuff like that so I just turn it on and give them you know free reign and they give me like a cheeseburger or something like that for lunch but let's get started okay what we need to do to start this off XDA forums alright what we do is we're gonna go to and I'll put the link below it's a mod 4.3 tether unlock for the MJ7 and MK2. Alright, now before we get going, I want you to see that I have MK2 installed, Android version 4.3. Here's my model number. Alright, so we're going back to the forum. Okay. Let's go to the beginning. All right, in the beginning of this forum, it mentions if you have SafeStrap installed, there's a flashable file. I highly, highly, highly recommend after you root your phone, the Samsung Galaxy S4 for Verizon, that you install SafeRoot. It's the easiest way to put this stuff on here. I had um, installed the mobile, the the tethering using. Uh, the description below the how-to it's an alternate method down below here is a kind of scary especially for someone like me who's not um, who's still kind of new at this stuff you know I'm not a pro at it so I kind of freaked out when everything started force closing and uh, so I had to, I had to yank the battery out and restart and I was really scared that I messed up my daily driver but luckily they got this now because safe straps out thanks to the creators of those all right, right down here, MK2 Tether Unlock with Toggle. It unlocks all your toggles. The uh, describes up here below your Bluetooth tethering, all that other good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Excuse me. Oh. There we go. All right, in just a few short seconds, right here, we'll have this phone. Uh, ready to go with our download. All right, download ready. Starting the download. All right, there we go. Now this is going to download to my uh, internal SD card. Uh, if you wish, you can move it to your external SD card. Uh, it's not going to mess things up, so you're going to be just fine. So I'm going to just clear that out. Now go back to the home screen. And here's what we're going to do is we're going to reboot to SafeStrap. Now, once you read the forms on SafeStrap and how to use it and all all the things that it can do, then you'll understand at this point from rooting and then installing Safe SafeStrap to get back into the SafeStrap recovery mode. So I'm just going to hold down the start button or the power button, excuse me. And I'm just going to hit restart. Sure thing. So while this is restarting, I'm just going to go over a few things. I kind of like to leave my phone as stock as possible. My daily driver, especially on this phone since the 4.3 update, a lot of things happen with um, knocks, uh, locked bootloaders, all kinds of good stuff that, well it's not really good stuff, but things that just makes it more difficult, but thanks to some of those modders out there um, and uh, developers who have done the, the hard work uh, you know people like you and I are able to get on here and have a good time just messing around with some of this stuff and I just like to leave a lot of this stuff as stock as possible at least the the internal this or the stock ROM so you want to go to recovery and that's what's great about safe strap is that you can install alternate ROMs without messing with your stock ROM so you can test the waters on some things there's a Kit Kat out there you can put on here Okay, so now that we're at a uh, safe strap, all right, you would want to go to install. 
look for your SD card or where you saved your file at you see this is external I'm not an external I'm going to be on the internal SD right there in my downloads bam there it is right there so you want to click on that and then at this point you'll just swipe the flash and you're gonna flash this on your phone and when it's done you'll have a little button down here to let you reboot your phone or you can go back if you wish I've already got this on my phone so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back go back and then I'm gonna hit reboot reboot system mm. Now it's going to take just a second or two to boot up here, but I uh, also would like to just talk about a few things that uh, is really neat. Um, I uh, ended up getting this phone, let's go to continue, hurry this up, off of eBay, and it was, you know, stock and factory and everything like that, and after I got it, I started noticing the, um, my attention was leaning towards the Nexus 5 phone, but you know I ended up getting this and I really like the UI on it because or the user interface it's really nice um, use it's friendly and um, but I do like the features that Nexus 5 would offer as far as unlocking everything because I own a Nexus 7 which I should post more videos on that here soon but uh, all the good stuff that I've done to that because it's so easy and so fun but all right so let's get on in here Let's swipe over and you see the mobile hotspot app that I brought up here. Excuse me, let that load. You would click on that. Okay, and this is just standard. What you would normally have gotten if you did not flash this file is once you clicked over to on, it would just tell you, sorry, you know, you need to have a subscription, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up real quick. Go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi tethering. Boom. And it says at the top hotspot activated. Go ahead and bring that down. Just didn't want y'all to see all my information there. It kind of pops up just so a buddy of yours wants to get on. He needs to know the, the passwords or whatever you can tell him. But there you go at the top. Uh, it says hotspot activated. Tap to configure. You can configure however you want. Sit there right at the top. This is a great thing. I really like it. And I know a lot of people want to use this when they have a limited plan. So you try to go and find the um, the routing or excuse me the the Wi-Fi apps for root users you know and tethering stuff and there's things work things don't work but this is a surefire way plus the mobile hotspot the one that's included in this phone is tailored for the phone's performance so it you know the more you task this mobile hotspot it will gauge your performance of the phone so you can save a lot more of your battery life I hope you enjoy thank you for watching